Hello coders, in this video I am going to explain you names parameter of read underscore csv. If you want to identify each and every column separately with separate names for each and every columns, then we have to use names parameter inside read underscore csv. Let I show you this practically with different examples. Let I first import pandas spd. Let we first load our data set read underscore csv marks underscore to nh dot csv the data set that you can download it from my github account link is given in the description below now here you can see no column headers so that we can give using names parameter here you can pass integer that you can see over here also we can pass floating point numbers These numbers I am giving over here just for your information, but it is meaningless to give integer and floating point numbers as our column headers. We have to give string values like this AA that you can give in double inverted comma or inside single inverted comma that you can see over here. What if we give some extra? that you can see over here with nan new column is created that you can see having no values so please remember this we have to give as per number of columns here is three so we have to give only three names over here as a column header so now let me provide proper name for the columns name marks and grades the professional way to give these column names like this so let I copy this and paste it over here so in place of this we can give as a separate list with some name let I give it as calls and here we have to provide names and we have to pass these calls that you can see over here this is the professional way to give the column names with names parameter of read underscore csv now let i show you another example let i copy this read underscore csv and paste it over here and i am going to use another data set marks.csv now here you can see column names are already present let i press shift tab now here you can see names by default is none here you can see that we have to provide array like and also it is optional list of column names to use if the file name contains header row then you should explicitly pass header is equal to zero to override the column names so please remember this if file name contains a header row then you should explicitly pass header zero to override the column names that you can see over here header names are already there if we try to give another names let i write aa bb and cc now that you can see over here now original column names become the part of our data so that's why here we have to pass header is equal to zero to override the column names that you can see over here now let i explain you the final concept of names parameter of read underscore csv that you can see over here duplicates in this list are not allowed so for that let i copy this and paste it over here now i want the columns with same name that you can see aa then what will happen it will generate the value error that you can see over here duplicate names are not allowed in this list normal python list 
we can give the duplicates that you can see over here. Let I create the normal Python list as you know, like a a b b and c c. This is normal Python list. In that duplicates are allowed. But here we are giving this list as a names parameter. So here duplicates are not allowed. If you try to give the column names with same name, which is not allowed, it will generate the value error. Duplicate names are not allowed. So for that we can write one that you can see over here. This is all about names parameter of read underscore CSV. Thank you. Thank you for watching.